I knew it was bullshit. I knew it. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. <sighs> What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys are the best. I love you. So if you guys have or haven't seen that Vans trick that I did at the start of the um, video, Essentially, there's this thing going around on social media now which says if you drop a pair of vans, then they always land face up. And to be honest, I thought it was bullshit. I, and so I, I have a pair, I was like, I have to try this. And, right, okay, let, let's be fair. You know, it might nine times out of ten do it. And let's, let's, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> So, I'm starting off today's video um, by unpacking my car because I essentially have half of my life in here. I haven't really unpacked it since uni. I've got a load of stuff that I just don't have anywhere to put in there, in here. And to be honest, that is the reason that I haven't had my car clean for such a long period of time because I haven't wanted to clear the car out. And so we're starting it off by getting rid of all of this. Okay. <laughs> so that was all in the boot of my car, and to be honest, that isn't even all of it. I'm leaving some stuff in there. So today I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone and have my car washed and cleaned whilst I go to the dentist. If you have been watching the channel for a while, you will remember back in September time, my face blew up. Well this is not ideal. Jawline, no jawline. Jawline, no jawline. Great. Over the past couple of weeks I've been to the dentist, it's been giving me some grief again and essentially that back tooth needs taken out. Um, because of whatever happened which made my face blow up in the first place, that tooth at the back needs to come out. They said that they could take it out but not until like the end of May and I was like well I I'm in pain now, so can you do it now? So I'm going down today, I got an appointment just to see if they can actually do anything about it now because to be honest, I mean you, you can't really tell unless I really point it out but there is a bit more roundness here in comparison to here. You know, I have a, a lot more of a jawline and nothing there. There's just like a real tenderness and it's it's just not right. So who knows, hopefully they can do something about it or at least give me something for the pain, I, I don't know. Oh, hello. Hello. Are we okay? Do you want to go out? Good girls. Go, go play, go play. I said go play. Huh? Go on. <laughs> Good girls. Right, I am late, man. Nah, 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 nah. I don't believe it. I still don't believe it. Right. Car wash. And then, dentist. Oh, woohoo! Let's go. Hi, mate. Perfect, nice one. Thanks a lot, mate. Now, that's the easy bit. On to the fun bit. The dentist. Yeah! It's just around the corner, so it's all good. Well, fuck me 
Do you go? Oh, ow, oh, that was odd. Currently can't feel my mouth. Um, as you can probably tell, I've been told not to eat or drink anything for a few hours. Um, but the whole, pro the whole pros, the whole process, process, process was very pain-free. He put four injections in my mouth, and so four, four, four. The most I've ever had is one little one for a filling in the other side, and it. That was probably the worst part of it, but I, I could feel him like screwing, you know, I, I couldn't feel anything, I felt no pain because it had been numbed, but then at the same time, I could see his fist physically grinding to try and get this tooth out. And it did eventually come out, but I think it took a little bit longer than I thought, a little bit, long, a little bit longer than he thought. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't eat anything now because I now can't eat for another two, three, maybe like four or five hours. I can show you guys the tooth. Um, if you do not want to see the tooth, um, it was kind of in two bits because like the top part had like rotted away and it was, yeah. If you, want, if you do not want to see the tooth, skip to this time frame right here. That is when it is gone. This is your formal warning. Be warned, there is a rotten tooth with blood all over it, coming right up. Skip to this time frame if you do not want to see it. No, I'm not bothered about taking it home. Too fairy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they even asked me if I wanted to like take it home. I was just like, um, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all good. I'll, I'll, I'll just take a picture of it. You know, the actual thing was, was, was massive. Like. I just, I, I close my eyes, I'm not gonna lie, I, I close my, I don't like needles, I don't like the dentist, I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend, I'm not gonna pretend to be a hard nut, like, I, I don't like the dentist, I just don't, and I was like, right, this needs doing, like, you know, sort, sort yourself out, Liam, come on, just, just get it done, you know, it'll be done in 10 minutes or whatever. When the tooth actually came out, I had my eyes closed for a lot of the time, when the tooth came out, I, obviously I felt it come out, like, it's still numb down here and stuff, but... I felt the tooth kind of come out like in, in two separate parts and stuff um, <laughs> and it came out I, I was like oh that's the tooth that's the tooth open my eyes and just seen this big lump of like red obviously like there's loads of blood and stuff and, <laughs> and I just went in a very muffled voice oh fuck me and I felt like a, I felt like a complete tool but then at the same time you know I, I said to them before I was like look I'm not gonna pretend I'm not scared like I, I don't I don't like the dentist <laughs> And, and yeah, that, that's just how it is. Numbness and tingling is uh, still at its height, I think. I feel like it's almost still kicking in because it's actually getting worse. My speech is getting worse. Um, so I've got to go and collect my um, car now and be like, hi, uh, thank, you, thank you very much. So I just wait around or like, do you know how long it'll be? About 10, 15 minutes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll just come back, mate. Oh. Cheers. The car hasn't finished yet, and so there's a Halfers just at the road, and it's about the nearest thing that sells anything cool because we're in Melton at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go and pretend that I, I need something new for my car. Yeah, it's all right out there, to be fair. Yeah, okay, definitely getting out of there um, on the basis that I was just wandering around, blood on my face. They were looking at me weird. I was like, yeah, yeah, Liam, get, get out of there. The sensation I'm feeling right now is bizarre. Because um, my mouth, to be honest, is getting number and number. Like, they said that it will wear off, whereas it's actually getting worse. But I can also like feel in my mouth where the tooth should be. <laughs> the, the, the tooth, fuck. I can actually feel where it should be and when I'm putting my teeth down together, um, like normally they would touch, like the top tooth and the bottom tooth would, would touch and there's nothing for it to touch. So I feel like my mouth's not closed but then it's numb and I don't know whether it's just the numbness that is making it feel weird or the fact that they're no longer touching is making it feel weird. Like, I, 
don't know. It, it was so big. Thanks Thank a lot, mate. Cheers. Well, I moved my chair really far back. So, um, a little bit of an update right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, I, I, I feel like I have blood all over my lips. I can't do anything about it. My speech is getting worse. And, um, <laughs> I'm going to put this on the internet and it's going to be on the internet forever. Ah. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay, that's my first time seeing it. Wow. Ah. Uh. That's not ideal. That is not ideal. And yeah, yeah, there's blood all over my mouth. Sick. Jobs are good in. Look how pretty she looks. Sick. Doggies. Hello. See, Flick always knows when there's something wrong, right? So let's see if she can... Hello, hello. You avoided me. What's what's the matter? Mm. You smell. I'm okay. I'm okay. Good girl. It's nothing better than the love from a dog. Hey Flicky. Hey Jesse. Mm. Good girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, it was interesting, that's for sure. So let's try and keep it over that side. Water. But to be honest, it's, it's virtually impossible. Just got blood all over my mouth, like everywhere. I just want to... I just want to, I want to clean it, I want to feel clean, I feel gross, I feel disgusting, I feel like... <sighs> Blood on my hands, I should probably wash my hands. I officially have feeling in my lip. Unfortunately, that means the numbness is wearing off. Um, which means I can feel a bit of pain at the back of my mouth. I feel like crap. To be honest, I, f I feel awful. I didn't expect to feel bad at all. I just expected to be in a bit of pain, but I feel like I feel ill, like run down and achy and. <sighs> Not ideal. Right, so I'm gonna level with you guys right now. I feel like crap. I feel I feel like shit. I feel ill. I feel like. Achy, I've got a headache and like cold and flu symptoms like achy all over my body and like one minute I'm hot, one minute I'm cold. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, my body's kind of just like shut down, whether it's because it's something that my body has never experienced before or something. I, I don't know. The swelling's kind of gone down. The pain has also gone down, but I still can't open my mouth properly. Um, speech is still a bit slurred and you know crap like that so for the next few days I'll be having soft uh, foods you know stuff like pancakes and mashed potatoes and you know all the good healthy nutritious stuff that everybody needs in their diet really he said not to have anything too hot and nothing too cold as well which which doesn't really help but I just hope that it's the end of the uh, the pain because there has been a constant slight swell for the last six months slight pain slight tenderness and like tension is probably the wrong word but yeah, tenderness would probably be the right word to describe what i've had for the last six months back in september september october november december january February. yeah well more than that more like seven or eight like it's been it's been a long time and so i hope that 
this being being taken out wasn't actually planned, but I hope it is the the end of the pain. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Every single one of you, whatever day, time, what year, whatever you're watching this, thank you because you could have been doing anything with your day. Uh, and at the end of the day, you just listen to me rant about how crap I feel for the last 10 minutes. So I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very, very much. Please drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. I hope you have enjoyed uh, today's video. We will have some, some good content coming over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully this will bugger off. I've got some new pre-workouts to try. Um, some good stuff coming. Some very good stuff coming. Keep your eyes peeled. Some things might surprise you. So thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow. Moral of the story, look after your teeth because this freaking hurts. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Hopefully in a lot less pain. Ah.